Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson about foreign inquiries and quotations. In our previous lesson, we discussed about documents and special terminologies in foreign trade. Let me remind you some of the main points. Insurance policy certificate is used to ensure common perils. The certificate of origin is a very useful document to save custom or import duties because of preferential treatment to the goods of friendly countries. Consular invoice is a document certifying a shipment of goods and shows information such as the consigner, consignee, and value of the shipment. A consular invoice can be obtained through a consular representative of the country you are shipping to. Many export transactions, particularly initial export transactions, begin with the receipt of an inquiry from abroad that is followed by a request for a quotation. Both inquiries and quotations should contain full details of the goods required. A quotation describes the products, its price, time of shipment, and terms of sale, and terms of payment. The international commercial terms are a series of the international sales terms published by International Chamber of Commerce and widely used in international commercial transactions. Terms of shipments or price terms are used to divide transaction costs and responsibilities between buyer and seller and reflect state-of-the-art transportation practices. It describes the supplier and buyer's obligations and specifies the point when the responsibilities for the transportation costs shift. Now, I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. An overseas quotation usually must be more detailed than in a domestic quotation. Why? What makes it detailed? Students, have you answered the questions? Good. Let's now provide you with the answer so that you can compare your responses. 
A quotation describes the product, states a price for it, sets the time of shipment, and specifies the terms of sale and terms of payment. Because the foreign buyer may not be familiar with the product, the description of the product in an overseas quotation usually must be more detailed than in a domestic quotation. Students, if we are clear with the necessity of the term of shipment in quotations, let us explain the following price terms or terms of shipments which are most frequently used in imports or exports. Delivery duty paid or DDP, delivery duty unpaid or DDU, delivered XQ or DEQ, delivery X ship or DES, delivery at frontier or DAF, and carriage and insurance paid. DDP, delivery duty paid at a named destination place. This term represents the seller pays for all transportation costs and bears all risk until the goods have been delivered and pays the duty. Let us discuss the seller's obligations and the buyer's obligation under the trade term of DDP, delivery duty paid. The seller's obligations. Complete at his own expense a contract for transporting the goods. Complete customs formalities for import and export. Carry all risks until delivery at the normal place. The buyer's obligations. Carry risks from point of delivery. Pay freight from point of delivery. Delivery duty unpaid, DDU. This term represents a transaction in international trade where the seller is responsible for making a safe delivery of goods to a named destination, paying all transportation expenses, but not the duty. The seller bears the risks and costs associated with supplying the good to the delivery location, where the buyer becomes responsible for paying the duty and other customers' clearing expenses. The seller's obligations complete the customs formalities for export, obtain at his own expense a contract for transporting the goods, carry the risks until delivery at the named place, pay freight cost up to delivery point. The buyer's obligations Complete the customs formalities for import. Carry the risks from the delivery point. Pay freight costs from the delivery at the named place, including import duties or taxes, etc. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Prepare a comparative table setting out the rights and obligations of the seller and buyer in a contract term DDP or delivery duty paid. What is the main difference between delivery duty paid and delivery duty unpaid?
Students, have you prepared a comparative table setting out the rights and obligations of the seller and buyer in a contract term DDP, delivery duty page? Good. Now let us do it together. The seller's obligations complete at his own expense a contract for transporting the goods. Complete customs formalities for import and export. Carry all risks until delivery at the normal place. The buyer's obligations carry risks from point of delivery. Pay freight from point of delivery. DDP or delivery duty paid represents the seller's maximum obligations. DDU or delivery duty unpaid plus customs clearance for import. Delivered XQ or DEQ means the seller or exporter is responsible for all costs involved in transporting the goods to the wharf or queue at the port of destination. DEQ or delivery XQ means that the seller delivers goods to the queue at the port of destination. The seller pays costs until the goods delivered to the queue at the port of destination. The goods delivered with DEQ or delivery XQ are cleared for export by seller. This also means that the buyer should bear all costs and risks of loss or damage from the point of delivery. The seller or exporter is responsible for all costs involved in transporting the goods to the wharf or queue at the port of destination. The buyer must pay duties, clear customs, and pay the cost or bear the risk of loss from that point forward. Delivery X ship or DES means the seller or exporter is responsible for all costs involved in delivering the goods to a named port of destination. Upon arrival, the goods are made available to the buyer or importer on board the vessel. The seller is responsible for all costs and risk of loss prior to the unloading at the port of destination. The buyer or importer must have the goods unloaded, pay duties, clear customs, and provide inland transportation and insurance to the final destination. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. If there is an agreement of delivery, ex ship or DES between the seller and buyer, who will pay for the following service costs as per the trade term?
Students, have you identified who will pay for each of the service costs as per the trade term? Good. Now let us do it together. The service cost of warehouse storage at point of origin is bared by seller. The service cost of export packing is covered by seller. The service cost for inland freight is covered by seller. The service charge at foreign port or airport is bared by buyer. The service cost for customs, duties and taxes abroad is covered by buyer. The service cost for the delivery to final destination is covered by buyer. Delivery at Frontier or DAF. This term represents that the seller or exporter is responsible for all costs involved in delivering the goods to the named point and place at the frontier or the border between the two countries. Under this term, there is a risk of loss transfers at the frontier and delivered at frontier at a named place. The seller is responsible to settle the following service payments. The service cost of warehouse storage at point of origin is covered by seller. The service cost for export parking is bared by seller. The service cost for loading on ocean carrier is bared by seller. The service cost for ocean or air freight is covered by seller. The service cost for customs, duties and taxes abroad is bared by buyer. The service cost for delivery to final destination is covered by buyer. Carriage and insurance paid. The seller transports the goods to the port of export, clears customs, and delivers them to the carrier. From that point, risk of loss shifts to the buyer. The seller is responsible for carriage and insurance costs to the named place of destination. The buyer is responsible for all costs and bears risk of loss from that point forward. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about some important shipment terms in international trading. Basically, we have discussed the following terms with their respective obligation for the buyers and sellers. Delivery duty paid or DDP, delivery duty unpaid or DDU, Delivered XQ or DEQ, Delivery X ship or DES, Delivery at frontier or DAF, and Carriage and insurance paid. In our next lesson, we will discuss Part 2 of Foreign Inquiries and Quotations. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher. Goodbye students.